before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the new event that Love Nikki released. It is going to be Bard Nikki. I already forgot her real name. Let me go check it out real quick. So it's called The Poem in the Wind and I just thought that this Reddit post was really funny because like I really relate to that. Right now my diamond count is at the lowest of low. It's been the lowest it's ever been and I'm feeling a little shook because of that. And I just thought that this post just accurately summarizes everything about it. And not only is this event going to be kind of expensive in my personal opinion, it's a concurrent event with the Art of War. Uh, return and people have been kind of divided on what this event is called because I thought it was four wars but then turns out it was art of war but then now it's will of war so whatever whatever floats your boat I guess and just to recap before we go react to the trailer this is called the bard Nikki suit because she literally looks like a bard and she's acting like a bard and everybody's going to call her a bard so that's why she's going to be called bard Nikki and not the weird long name which is the poem in the wind so she is going to cost 15,000 diamonds with free tries and the event map is kind of just like a story stage map where you just battle with your different outfits I'll be doing a guide when the event does come and then it's going to also be a tiered event so unfortunately you can't pick and choose whichever part of the outfit you want so now that's settled let's go on to the actual trailer so I really like the trailer because the song is a bop and there's something really nice and eerie about the song. The actual overall trailer itself is very pretty and you can see Bard Nikki just disappearing and walking in the background like a creep. So here she is in her glory. There are cute animals around her. There's a cute bear, there is her banjo which she can play and then there's a cute little squirrel and a barrel and a bell and a little keyboard harmonica thing. Just to clarify, this suit does not come with the makeup. The makeup comes from the racing suit over here and yeah, she actually doesn't come with the makeup, making it a 1500 diamond suit without the makeup and just the pose. So now you're wondering, is it worth it? You might be struggling because you know there is a hell event, return. Do you wanna finish that one or do you wanna finish this one? And compared to other outfits we had in the past, is this an outfit that's worth it? Or is this an event that's very expensive? So I decided to do my work and then I checked out all my past videos where I took all my past videos and basically just summarized how many diamonds it cost from the nearest event to one of the further events. So here it is. I know it's awkwardly cropped, but I just took it from my YouTube page. And you can see that the hell event that's running alongside this one, it's going to be around 15,000 diamonds, I think a little bit more. And before it came back, it was around 13,000 diamonds. Usually hell events, when they come back, they will cost a little more. So it's like if you do like this event and you can finish it, I strongly suggest you to finish it because it's just going to cost more and more as time goes on. And then there was the Bobo Hell event we just literally had. That was around 13,000 diamonds for me to complete the four main suits, but then that doesn't include the 25,600 diamond 2D suit. And then the one before it, which is Coming Storm, that was cheaper because it was 700 diamonds for one suit and then 1,950 diamonds for both of them. So given that this event costs 1500 to complete, Coming Storm was definitely cheaper because you get two suits and both of them are posed. And then Star Fantasy was real life money, 999 diamonds for Guard of Glory, and then 1800 diamonds for both of them. And the Bobo suit was a recharge which was $100. <laughs> and then Cerise's box was a pavilion that was around 4000 diamonds while the Childish doll was a recharge of $30. And just to move on just a little further to have a good grasp of how many diamond suits cost in the previous few events, you can see that the night visit one was around 3935 diamonds. So that's around 2000 diamonds for each of them. And then the Wonder Magic was 990 diamonds for one of them and 1900 for both of them. Rose Elegy was around 3000 to 4000 diamonds because it was a pavilion. The Hell Event was around 6400 diamonds. And Snow Trail was 2600 to 2800 diamonds. 
and you can see for yourself for the rest of them. So I would say this one is more on the average side, leaning towards the little bit more expensive side. Given that number one, there's no makeup, and number two, it only comes with one suit, and number three, it doesn't look that special. Yes, I really like the fantasy vibe, and yes, it's a green suit. So I think that because this is a different type of outfit, I think I can look past the being on the more expensive side and saying that it's average. I wouldn't say that it's super worth it, but I'd say that it's average. And apparently each of the items actually have a description which describes the lore of the entire Love Nikki universe, like why stylist battles came to be. So you could possibly just get the items to read the lore, but I'm sure somebody that's not you who has enough diamonds would get this and would also share the lore to you. So that could be me, that may not be me, I don't know. Because I didn't participate in the coming storm. I just got bored of it. I didn't think the suit was that pretty and I decided to go away from it. I'm kind of intrigued with this outfit, but again, I don't know how versatile it is because this is a darker green outfit and I don't have enough dark green outfits to use. I do like the hair, it's kind of nice, but I wish her hair was also green or like she just had a total different vibe because having a green hair would be really nice since we don't have any green hairs at all. Like think about having a green ponytail, that would be pretty lit. I have to say honestly, like now that I'm looking at the animals, just whatever. The pose is also whatever because you need to put on her entire outfit to be able to use her pose, I believe. If not, if it's like separate from top to bottom, which I also think is the case, I forgot where I read it, I think that it'd be okay. I want to just make sure that I really do like it and I don't want it because of the hype because 1500 diamonds, it's not that bad, but if something comes after this event which I like even more, then you know what I mean? Like, I'd probably go for that one instead of this one. I think, in my personal opinion, you should do the Hell event because the Hell event gives you a lot more in return. You get a background for completing a suit, you get diamonds or coins or stamina every time you complete a node, and then you get free tries this time, so I think you keep getting free tries every time it returns. But this event will become more and more expensive every time it returns, compared to maybe this event which might come back for crafting, who knows. But I personally think that the Will of War would be more worth it if you like the event more or if you like the event equally as much. If you don't like Will of War and you like the Bard one, obviously that's a no-brainer, you do the Bard one. But if you like the Will of War one and not the Bard one, again, no-brainer, just do the Will of War one. <laughs> it's just in the case where you like them both equally as much or you can't decide between them. So that's my two cents about that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that she's worth it? Do you want to change my mind? In <laughs> because I might be, I might be getting it if you are, guys are able to change my mind about it. Right now, I'm kind of sitting on the fence and I'm leaning towards no. And before I leave you guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my thumbnail editor Jasmine because she has started her own YouTube channel, and her YouTube channel revolves around BTS edits, which I freaking love because BTS is my love. She also has a bias towards V because you can see over there her name is Mira Tae, like Taehyung. Her most recent video is a bop. I can't play the music because of copyright issues but basically I'm gonna do a little voiceover. And then the beat drops and holy damn. So if you want to check out the video for the full experience of that, go to our YouTube, subscribe to her, and check out her videos out. We both really appreciate that. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because that would help me a lot. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be posting a guide when the event does come to our server. And I'll see you then. Bye!